What better time to go over the anatomy of the front end of an independent front end on a Prevo bus? We've got the wheel off, so let's let's look at what we've got inside here. So if we come down here, obviously we have our disc brakes. We can see that we have white hubs. That's evident from the window that you can see the, the oil. Not all of them will have that. Newer ones will actually have dry hubs. Not really dry hubs, but ones that are packed with grease and there's no window there to be seen. And then we come around and these have Nor Bremza brakes, disc brakes, easily replaced. These have new slide uh, kits on them that we just got finished doing. Here we'll be able to see the brake chamber. And the brake chamber takes air from the braking system and changes it to a mechanical rod to actually apply pressure on those brakes. The size of those brake chambers determines how much pressure is put on the brakes. So unlike a car that would have a system to equalize the hydraulic uh, pressure front to rear based on braking, it's done by the size of these brake chambers. If we come in here further, here we see the dog bone bushing. The dog bone bushing actually attaches the front suspension to the sway bar. And the sway bar is that huge bar right there. And as you can see here, these dog bone bushings need to be replaced. Outside here, we hear a lot of talk of upper and lower A-arms. Here you can see the upper A-arm, which will soon be replaced on this coach. And behind it, the airbag. And because we're taking the A-arm off, we'll go ahead and replace the airbag, although it's really not necessary. Then residing behind there, we'll see the shock absorber, the blue canister right there. And if we follow the sway bar, to the center of the coach we will see back in here we will finally get to the leveling valve and the leveling valve is responsible for your ride height um, as the coach goes up and down it adjusts the air that's in the, the airbags to maintain that ride so in a nutshell that's what we've got in the front suspension of our independent front ends on our Prevo bus So parts to be put on the bus later will include front shock absorbers. In the front it's recommended to use conies. No reason to put the more expensive shocks on the rear of the coach. A new airbag, again only being replaced because the A-arm's coming out. Good morning Shiner. Say hi Shiner. And we also have an upper A-arm. And here you'll see the dog bones, one with bushings and one without. You don't replace the dog bones, just the bushings.